Welcome to this demonstration on calendar holidays. This video will cover a couple of topics, importing holidays into the notes calendar and updating the holiday documents in the server address book. Let's start with importing into the notes calendar. From the calendar view, select more and then import holidays. This will bring up a dialog box with the available holidays that you can import into your calendar. For this demonstration, we'll be importing U.S. holidays. Once the holidays are imported, a dialog box will be shown telling you how many records were added, updated, or deleted. I already had some documents in my calendar. So this is telling me that 19 holiday records were updated. As you can see, for the month of January, I now have Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I have Groundhog Day, but I seem to be missing the holiday document for New Year's Day. When something like this occurs, and you're missing a holiday, you'll need to check the holiday documents on the server. They may be outdated or missing. So let's go over to the holiday documents in the server address book. So here we are in the address book. The holiday documents are located under miscellaneous holidays. United States holidays are already expanded and here's the one I seem to be missing from my calendar. So let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, the start date for this holiday document is January 1st, 2001, but it only repeats for 10 years. That would only take us to January 1st of 2011. We need to double click on the holiday document and change how long the holiday repeats for. So I'm just going to make it 20 years. I make the change and then save and close. I'm going to go back into this document to show you that I could have either double clicked anywhere in the holiday document or selected Edit Holiday. That will also allow you to change the fields. So I didn't make any changes, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. Now that I've updated the holiday document for New Year's Day, I'm going to go back into More, Import Holidays, select United States, and Import again. As you can see, it's telling me that no holiday records were added, but one holiday record was updated. So I'm going to hit OK, and now we have New Year's Day. So that's basically it. We've covered how to import holidays into the calendar and how to update holiday documents in the server's address book. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.